The last uh, paper is from Dr. Marina from Georgia, talking about high leptin levels not being related to high bone mineral density in obese females um, in this region. Dr. Marina. Dear colleagues, I would like to express gratitude towards our organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to participate in pre-paper session of 14th Asia Oceania Congress of Endocrinology. Um, I would like to um, share some pieces of the study um, held by our team. And uh, the title of the study is as shown, high leptin level is not related to high bone mineral density in obese females. The role of leptin concentrations on bone metabolism has not been fully outlined yet. Leptin is considered as the central hormone that participates in two basic control mechanisms of bone turnover. Leptin is considered to be direct stimulator of bone growth and suppressor of bone resorption. But there is an emerging controversy. The correlation between the serum leptin level and bone mineral density in humans is still unclear. Possible reason of controversy could be the shifting balance between listed mechanisms. Mechanism one, cytokine stimulatory, stimulatory direct action, and mechanism two, suppressive indirect action on bones via the hypothalamus. Leptin secreted from fat cells stimulates expression of whole beef, hypothalamic osteoblast inhibitory factor. Hobif, when released, lowers the matrix-making ability of osteoblasts. The aim of our study was to assess the influence of serum leptin concentration and fat mass distribution on bone mineral density in patients with obesity. Um, now females from age 41 to 64 with BMI 27 to 32 were enrolled in this study. We have measured. BMI, ionized calcium, phosphate values, serum leptin, insulin, lumbar spine, proximal femur, BMD, and fat mass distribution by dual energy X-ray absorption metry. The bone resorption marker type 1 collagen C telopeptide CTX. Females were classified as insulin resistant and as insulin sensitive according to the HOMA insulin sensitivity index. 87% of patients revealed increased levels of serum leptin. 62% of them had reduced levels of BMD. BMD was lower in postmenopausal women. Mean plasma leptin level was significantly higher in the insulin resistant group compared with the insulin sensitive group. Serum CTX was significantly higher in the insulin resistant group compared with the insulin sensitive group. The correlation between bone mineral density and fat mass distribution was not revealed. Conclusion. Result of our study supports the speculation that serum leptin is an inhibitor of bone formation acting through the central nervous system. Leptin's role still needs to be pointed out in contribution of the central and peripheral control mechanisms of bone turnover. Thank you for your attention. Papers open for discussion. If anyone has any comments on that or questions, perhaps I could ask you: um, you have the group that you chose to study, which you labelled as obese, as a, but you said had a BMI of 27 to 30. Uh, I just wonder about the, the label "obese" there. If it's it a sort of the, Caucasian. Uh, no, it was not the high degree of obesity. So that would uh, generally be the, the o overweight. Uh, the other question about that is why it was such a narrow category. There's potential problems in understanding the data when you 
uh, make the category very narrow. We know that uh, leptin levels are very closely related to adiposity and, and BMI. They're often highly correlated. So when you um, select your uh, participants by a very narrow BMI range, it reduces the variability in BMI and also the things related to BMI and has an impact on what you can hope to find. So the question is why it was such a narrow band of BMI. Uh, so uh, why uh, we have selected the patients with uh, um, uh, not very high BMI? This is your question. Um, uh, these uh, patients, uh, they uh, didn't have very uh, high BMI. They were all weighted and with first degree of obesity, but they, uh, um, a big uh, amount of them, 87%, had uh, elevated level of, level of leptin. At, uh, and we um, thought that it was interesting to uh, reveal uh, the correlation of leptin level with um, uh, BMD, uh, with bone mineral density. Any other questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.